Hey everybody, it's Leslie from Sew A Lot Creative Sewing Centers in Centerville, Ohio and Lexington, Kentucky. I am coming to you with this month, July 2021, Kimberbell Fill in the Blank project. So it is the quilted pillow cover along with the pretty floral um, designs on either end of it. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how to create this pillow and if you are part of our club and are joining us um, for our monthly Zoom meeting, we'll talk about all the fun things that we can do with the, the quilted pillow blank as well as with this design outside of it. But today we're going to talk all about how to create our placement markings, place the design, stitch these designs, uh, do the appliques, and all the fun things to go along with the created project from Kimberbell for the month of July. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep all of our applique fabrics for each side of the embroidery design. So on the pillow, we have the floral design on the right and on the left side. So you're gonna have double of everything that I have here. I just have one set for one side just for demonstration purposes. So you're gonna have two pieces of leather. I'm gonna set those aside because they're ready to go. I'm going to have a blue piece of fabric for my large flower, and I'm gonna use a piece of double-sided fusible on the back of my appliques. Because they're stitched down using decorative stitches and this is a pillow cover, it may get washed some, I wanna make sure that those stay in place nice and pretty. So I'm gonna add a double-sided fusible. Um, you have a couple options. Kimberbell makes this great Kimberbell fusible peel and stick that works really well for applique or the one that I've actually chosen to use on this particular project is called Soft Fuse Premium. Um, it comes by the yard, it's really nice stuff. I like both. The reason I chose to use the fusible, or the Soft Fuse instead of the Kimberbell product on this particular one is because I don't really need the adhesive, the sticky, tacky side. Um, I just need it to be a double-sided fusible and the Soft Fuse is a little bit lighter weight so it doesn't quite make it so thick with all the layers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got my pieces all cut. The rough side of the fusible webbing is gonna be facing the back side of my fabric. So the glue side is gonna go against the back side of the fabric. And I'm just going to heat that in place per the instructions of the fusible webbing. So depending on which brand you choose to use, you can check settings for all of that, but I'm just using a dry iron and getting those all ready. I'm gonna do the same thing with my pieces for my leaves. So again, you'll have do double of everything that I have because I'm just prepping for one side. Same thing here. This, the rough side of your fusible webbing is gonna go against the back side of your applique fabric. Just gonna fuse it in place. Same thing with my red flower. And then when we get to the pieces for our white flowers, we're gonna have an additional step here. Um, we're also going to add the Kimberbell fusible backing. And what this is gonna do is this is going to allow our white fabric to have a little more um, coverage so that you can't see through it so much. So I don't know if you can notice there, you can kind of see the, the color from my hand behind it. When I put this layer behind it, it just keeps that shadowing. So when we're layering this over the other colors of fa fabrics, um, the other flowers, you're not gonna see those show through it. So I'm gonna put the shiny side, the glue side, to the back side of my fabric. And then I'm gonna take the rough side or the glue side of my fusible webbing and put it to the back of that pile, to the bottom of the pile. So I'm gonna fuse all three layers and you can fuse these pieces prior to cutting out all the smaller pieces. So if you know you're doing multiples of this, you could do a whole strip and fuse it and have it ready to go and then cut your pieces to size. These I'm doing exact sizes just so I can kind of show you what they look like for the project in the step-by-step. -step. This white piece, I did the same thing. I did the fabric with the fusible backing glued to the back of it. 
and the fusible webbing to the back of the fusible backing. <laughs> I know it's a lot of fusibles, right? Once I have those all set, I now have all of my pieces ready to go to get started on the embroidery part of the project.